setup and all these young guys? Yeah, it's pretty cool just to, to see them come out and support him and support us. And uh, yeah, it's nice to, to have them around to get excited for the season coming up. And um, we're just as excited as they are. We're, we had a, a long summer and a, a long time to wait and kind of think about and reflect. And yeah, we're all coming in hungry and, and ready to go for sure. And speaking of hungry, how big of a season is this for you, you know, for your, your long-term future? Yeah, it's a, it's a big season for me. I feel like it's uh, kind of a contract year type of thing. And uh, yeah, I'm just trying to keep building off of last season and uh, just uh, keep earning my ice time, keep uh, trying to define my role at this team and just uh, to show them that I want to be here and, and be here for a long time. That's my, that's my goal and that's what I, I want to do and just to keep uh, earning that opportunity for sure. Do you think this situation affords you the best opportunity uh, to, to showcase what you can do at this level? Yeah, I feel like ever since I've been in Chicago, they've kind of given me some opportunity to, to try to succeed. And I feel like this last year I did a pretty good job at that. But as, uh, as this year comes forward, you got to try to take another step and uh, to show them what you can do and just uh, keep earning your time. And um, it's not easy with with uh, we, have, we have a lot of guys this year. We got to keep uh, earning our time to earn your spot and uh, to, to get more ice time for sure. What did you work on this summer? Just uh, kind of everything. You just like everyone says, it's kind of a cliche, but I feel like my skating. I've I've worked on a little bit for sure. I've kind of got a little bit more jump, which I'm excited about, and I can uh, I can definitely notice it with myself. Just uh, getting from A to B feels good, and yeah, just uh, also just working on what I'm good at, score, trying to score goals and and uh, to play play big and use my size. That's kind of um, something I've uh, been good at. I got to continue to be good at as well. Is there something specific you did to improve your skating or your explosiveness? Or? Just, just off ice stuff. It's and just some just power skating type of things. It's uh, just some something I've I've worked on the last couple of summers, but um, maybe just paid a little more attention off the ice. And um, our our trainer back home is is pretty good at kind of dialing in what we need to do. And uh, I feel like for for myself, it was a, a a great summer for me for sure. Just saying, it's a big year for you. But how much do you think your familiarity here in the organization and with the the current roster that's here will help benefit you with that? Yeah, we have uh, a lot of new guys that have came in, and um, yeah, just the core here we've had from last season has been uh, some great guys, and it makes it so easy to play here. And even our staff, they just it's make it so comfortable on you, and it's kind of getting you to play the right way and uh, be able to play your game. And I feel like also with the new guys, they've they've come in with with open arms and just been um, some awesome some awesome guys. You feel like you've you've known them for a while, just how how smooth it's been with their their transition over. So it's. It's pretty. Uh, it's pretty cool to see, and um, yeah, it definitely helps out with uh, for uh, the way the team's gonna play. I know some extra guys have been brought in for, for leadership roles, but you know, with Taves and Kane now gone, do you feel like you can elevate your role in that aspect? Yeah, I'm getting older now, with kind of middle of the pack here, I guess, on this team. I know we've got some older guys too, but uh, yeah, it's something you you want to keep growing as a player, and um, yeah, just after a couple years under your belt, it. You kind of have to keep building and just uh, to show the young guys how to be a pro and things like that. And I know they'll, they'll kind of feed off the, the older guys that are here. But uh, yeah, just a guy in kind of the middle age, just trying to, to show them how to how, how I work. And hopefully that can uh, just um, spill onto them a bit. Anything that you've uh, taken away from K's and uh, K, Taves and Kane, <laughs> <laughs> other than how to pronounce their names? <laughs> yeah, I feel like they're both obviously Hall of Famers one day. and. Some two special people, and uh, yeah, just how determined they are, and how how hard they did work. I know, just with Kaner, you guys see every day how, how special he was on the ice and Taser as well, and just their their off ice habits too. Just even in the room, just little parts of every day. Just uh, it's 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 awesome to see, and I'm happy I was able to play with them just to to learn that. And um, yeah, it's been uh, two two really good people, and I'm happy I got the chance to play with them for sure. Luke said that he thought you and Kuris have did really well defensively in that two-on-two -two drill today. Do you feel like that kind of format suits your game well, being kind of physical and playing around the net like that? Yeah, I'm a I'm a bigger guy, and that's something I I have to do is use my size. And you know, whether it's just a little battle like that, or come come game time a battle in the corner, I gotta win pucks and um, use my size around the net for sure. And I feel like that's that's uh, an area I got to be good at and continue to be good at. So I feel like yeah, just little things like that are helpful just to kind of get, ba get you back into that little gritty bit of a game. But um, yeah, those are fun things to work on and practice with, with guys here to get you ready.